Hey everybody, it's the Ionic Guy, and today's just going to be a quick little update video. I've got good news for you. Kia just released a TSB for the EV6, and what this TSB is for is to address the intermittent level 2 charging failures that many eGMP owners have seen. This isn't just EV6, it's Ionic 5 and GV60. And I also reached out to my contact at Hyundai. He said they are currently validating the exact same update for Hyundai Ionic 5s. So all of you folks who've been having issues level two charging at higher currents, 48 amps, 40 amps, and seeing the car cancel that charging session, there's a fix on the way. So if you wanna know more, stay tuned. So yeah, I was on the GV60 Facebook group today and somebody posted a image of this TSB and I downloaded it and took a look through it and I'll just tell you kind of the gist of it. So what they're saying here is EV6s made between November 17th, 2021 and December 20th, 2022 might experience inoperable high voltage battery charging issues due to excessive high temperatures at the combo charger inlet module assembly. That's more or less a fancy way of saying the charging port. And the instructions here for the service tech is to follow the procedure outlined in this publication to apply the improved logic to the VCMS system using the KDS ECU upgrade function as described in the bulletin. And KDS ECU upgrade function is a little diagnostic tool system that Kia has proprietary for their cars. Hyundai probably has their own as well. Something to really consider here though is at the bottom of the first page of the TSB it says, only apply this if the customer is complaining about the issue. So if you're gonna bring your EV6 in for the update, something to keep in mind is that here in the second page, they say that the battery should be sufficiently charged to at least 60% or higher. So if you're going in for the update, make sure your battery's sitting at at least 60% or more. So when this eventually does come out for the Ionic 5, you are probably going to have to complain about level two charging issues, but then they should take care of it, no problem. Um, EV6 owners, Go complain to your dealerships right now, make an appointment because you have the TSB available to you. So any of you that have been suffering from this issue, go and get it fixed. Now, I personally haven't experienced the issue. I made a video several months ago, four or five months ago, going over what has been happening to people. And I did create a big poll to try and find out what was going on, who it was happening to specifically. I never really got a chance to get into all the fine details, but it seemed like it was mostly happening to people charging at 48 amps, 40 amps, and even 32 amps, which was kind of surprising. I figured 32 amps and lower might have been the sweet spot for charging and not seeing the problem. There didn't really seem to be any correlation between high temperature, low temperature, and average temperature, so that's not really the issue. It seems to me that it's a charging current issue, and at higher charging currents, you're going to have more heat. So something is going on with the charging port where it's just saying this is too much heat, we got to stop charging. So hopefully this new logic for the VCMS will solve that problem. I'll put a link in the description to the Kia TSB for you guys who own EV6s and want to have a copy of this with them. You can make your appointment and the TSB number is 283 group ELE. I don't know what that means, but it's for 2022 to 2023 model year EV6s. So any of my viewers that are EV6 owners, after you get the update installed, come back to this video, leave a comment, let us know how it went and if it fixed your issue. So Ionic 5 owners, my contact at Hyundai told me that they are currently validating this update, so it should be here relatively soon. They did also tell me that the eco mode fix is in the works and there is a possibility that might be rolled in at the same time is the VCMS update. So this could be a solid update in the near future, getting the eco mode fixed and also getting level two charging issues solved. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep you posted about the Hyundai Ionic 5 TSB when it does come out. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.